When we were in uh, the U.S., we were prepared for this project uh, one whole term with the course ID 2050, and we learned a lot about background material relevant to our project. My interaction with the students and uh, how it all started in the preparatory, preparatory phases and all uh, live part here in Albania, it started with emails, it started with Skype calls, it started with exchanging materials, exchanging videos, exchanging opinions, all over technology. The preparatory work that you do before going into your IQP, including the ID2050, the PQP, and all of the different sessions that you have to go to, they really help prepare you for going to a different country and experiencing a different culture, and uh, they prepare you for the work that you're going to have to do there. The role of Global Ambassadors really depends from opportunity to opportunity, but they're definitely there as a resource if a site director wants to have students from the previous years come and talk to students as they're getting ready to go. There was one ID2050 class where Professor Hirsch had some Albanian students come in and we actually interviewed them to practice our interviewing skills and we interviewed them on the culture, so that was also beneficial. Things that we ended up doing beforehand that introduced us to an Albanian culture. Um, our advisor, Peter Christopher, had uh, culture classes, I guess. There was one Albanian dance class that we went to. It was very interesting to see their traditional dances. In terms of preparation for safety and um, health and everything like that, I felt very prepared going into Albania. All the students receive a manual before we arrive at our location and I actually drew upon the information many times while I was abroad. We were so excited even before they came because we had interacted so much with them that we knew that we were just going to start working immediately. 